I'd like to take a quick moment to uh, remember and pay tribute to the person that snapped me a video of their nutsack a couple days ago. I appreciate you. You loyal. You smart. Good morning guys. A little pro tip. I highly recommend going to my Facebook fan page and checking out this myself.co self. If you don't, it's probably a good idea if you have like a daily planner, daily journal that you write in in the morning and at night, your goals, you know, what you need to do for that day, things you're And for the last time, creatine does not, never will be, shouldn't be. You don't got to worry about cycling it. Just take five grams, which is a spoonful every single Creatine has a pretty strong effect on your power output and a kind of minor effect on lean body mass uh, gains, which, which is pretty incredible as it's a completely natural, safe, and very inexpensive supplement and one that actually works compared to all the body naturally just has creatine stores in its muscles uh, put there from the foods that you eat that have creatine in it and by supplementing supplementing you keep those stores of creatine just a little bit higher on a regular basis so that when you're working out your power output is increased creatine phosphate lends its phosphate to ADP to create ATP and you probably know what ATP does All right, guys powerball story yesterday I was at 7-eleven went to get a powerball ticket this is a two-part story so when I walk in there's a long line as you could expect right so first off when I'm inside I kid you not Shake your ass! Watch yourself! Shake your ass! That song was playing, non edited, when I got inside. Some okay, next. There was a lady in front of me, a man behind me. A lady in front of me was identical to Pam from The Office. The guy behind me were basically just talking about how, yeah, we're probably not gonna win, but you know, it's so high, might as well just buy a ticket, whatever. I don't normally do this, that's what she said, kind of. Sh so Pam in front of me, she's like, well, you know, you could actually save your money because I have the winning ticket. And then I was like, wait, seriously? I said, Jump! and I walked out. I walked past everyone in line, walked out of 7-Eleven, the door closed behind me, took 10 steps, kept. Now, I actually had the urge to get in my car and drive home, but I was like, I really need this fucking Powerball. So I went back inside, bought five tickets. Somebody asked me, Matt, is sugar bad when cutting? Um, Think about it like this, that's almost like asking Matt, is carbs bad when cutting, is protein bad when cutting, is fiber bad when cutting? It's a new simple thing with nutrition is we should all be eating 70 to 100% whole foods. Uh, 70 to 90 if you're not 100 percent. Now when you do that, things take care of themselves. I'm telling you right now, as long as you're eating you know, a couple fruits, a couple of vegetables, mostly whole foods, you log all that food into MyFitnessPal or whatever app you use, it's going to say you consume sugar. Carefully, on my days where I don't eat Greek yogurt, I found I eat about 75 grams of sugar. On the days I do eat the Greek yogurt, it says about 125 grams of sugar. You know, getting my 75 to 125 grams of sugar, and in these last five, six weeks, I've lost over 10 pounds. I mean, come on. <laughs> Serious. It comes down to just a caloric deficit. Now, there are other guidelines, such as eating mostly whole foods, you know, multiple servings, fruits and vegetables, a daily requirement of for those who are insulin sensitive, diabetics, etc., that is when sugar, uh, you know, sugar monitoring is quite much more important than for the average person. Which reminds me to remind you that when I or other fitness -y people give you know recommendations or advice or whatever, it's under the assumption you do not have a special medical condition. So BCAAs, you take when bulking or cutting. Uh, for 99.9% .9 of you guys watching me, you probably should never buy BCAAs. There's just no need. Just I say that because it's under the assumption that you're doing ev absolutely everything correct as is training wise and nutrition wise to be able to justify that kind of money spending. Justify how much money you're spending for the slight chance that it will be able to benefit you in the slightest, slightest way. Everything's slight. Fast cardio has literally no physiological benefit over unfasted cardio. In fact, most likely hindered performance. Psychologically, perhaps. So my recommended protein intake is generally just to Google natural bodybuilding recommendations, Eric Helms, and then it'll take you to a research review and that's basically whatever. Here I did that for you. We're looking at about 2.3 to 3.1 grams per kilogram of lean body mass per day of protein. 
kilograms in weight, basically take your body weight divided by 2.205. Um, the reason I gave that, or I showed you guys that recommendation at all, I showed you that research review because I think it's important to acknowledge that there are way smarter people than just us YouTube, fitness, Instagram people. Way smarter people. And I think it's pretty bullshit that some people don't even look to the research, don't even look to the most intelligent people in this area for... But anyways, there's a range for the protein intake based on so many different factors. Your level of lean body mass, how much muscle you're carrying, your genetics, your metabolism. The way Helms, Aragon, Pure Fission came up with 2.3 to 3.1 is they looked at all the research, all these different research uh, studies on uh, protein, and that's where... By the way, guys, thanks so much for the uh, feedback on these snaps. If you're enjoying them, do something to share them. Get my name out there. Screenshot shit. Send it to your friends. Text your mom. I'd like to take a quick moment to uh, remember and pay tribute to the person that snapped me a video of the nutsack a couple days ago. I appreciate you. You loyal. You smart. I was going to walk my dog, Max, but I come outside and it's like definitely raining. Sure. Alright, looks like we're doing it. Lead the way! And with creatine, some people do report a little bit of water retention or a little bit of bloating or discomfort. But you probably want to increase your water intake as well as don't super load. One thing that is for sure is that your muscles will be holding more water inside of them. You will probably uh, notice weight gain because of just that alone. Lastly, don't mind fuck yourself. Don't go into taking creatine for the first time ever, five grams monohydrate per day, by the way, and think, oh my God, I'm gonna get so much water retention. And just for reference, I've been taking creatine for six, seven or more years now, uh, all the time, never really getting off of it. That means every picture you've ever seen of me, I'm in creatine. Somebody asked, so Matt, since creatine, when you start taking it, you get, might gain a little bit of weight because of the water uh, in your muscles, etc. Is it something that you should not take when cutting? Hmm. Initially causes weight gain because of the increased water inside of your muscles Water now, Creatine isn't building muscle inside of your body. It's helping you at the gym with your power output So a set of seven on the bench press you might have gotten seven and a half or eight Creatine might help you get another rep here another rep there over the total of the workout You ended up hitting more total volume more tension tension you progress those weights you're hitting, you progress the overall tension you're applying in each workout over time, that is progressive overload. Muscles grow because of that. So tell me this guys, when you're cutting, why would you want to stop taking creatine when creatine will help you get another rep here, another rep there, compared to not taking creatine? you guys are cutting, you want to try to maintain as much gym performance, as much gym volume as possible to maintain the muscle that you have. If you guys only care about losing weight, you don't care about losing muscle, you don't care about your strength, then feel free, take your creatine out. It'll help you lose even more weight. You'll lose more muscle too. Stop. In conclusion, guys, there's absolutely zero whatsoever, zero reason to stop taking creatine during a cut. In fact, that's the worst creatine. Guys, use examine.com to learn more about supplements. In terms of creatine, monohydrate is the way to go. It's the cheapest. You do not need HCL. God, all right, last word on creatine. Please don't ask any more questions about it. Take it any time of the day. It literally does not matter. Any time of the day. So someone just snapped me and said, the purpose of cutting is to look dry and flat. I disagree completely. Like, who, what definition is that? Who, what, what are, who are you talking about? The only purpose of cutting for everyone should just be to lose body fat. And at the same time, you should want to maximize muscle retention. Now, a lot of people who have never gotten shredded before think that you get, you get dry looking from not drinking water or decreasing water retention. And when it comes to achieving that dry look in natural bodybuilding, 95% of the equation is just getting to a low enough body fat that you just look dry no matter what. Your diet is gonna handle how dry you end up looking. And in terms of fullness, just don't cut out water. Drink water comfortably, that's it. All right, since everyone keeps asking, the specific creatine I use is this right here. Go to my YouTube channel, click the link in the description box to my Amazon store and only buy it from there. Pro tip guys, go to the grocery store, buy hearts of romaine lettuce, these giant things. Cut one up, each one's about six grams of carbs, put it in your Chipotle burrito bowl. I'm gonna do a quick mirror flex.
Good night, everybody. Shredding up.